looks like we're inching closer to a coronavirus vaccine being released with Pfizer potentially making news today. But in the meantime, the state is preparing for rising cases with field hospitals. Personally, I'm, I'm sick of playing defense. I'm ready to play some offense. Massachusetts hospital executives thrilled knowing Pfizer will likely apply to the FDA for emergency use authorization of its COVID-19 vaccine today. And Cambridge-based Moderna may have a similar request by the end of November. Vaccines are about 95% effective. Incredibly excited, not just because of its effectiveness, but because this is the first time we've ever had an mRNA-based vaccine, which is much quicker if we have to respond to another pandemic to produce than would be your typical vaccines. The hope is that the state will get between a half a million and a million doses by the end of the year, and that healthcare workers will be the first to get the shots. There's a fairly um, extensive process that's going on with respect to vac vaccine distribution between the federal government and the states, and I would call it very much a work in progress. State workers have started rebuilding a 240-bed field hospital at Worcester's DCU Center. It's absolutely critical for us. We're um, at the point right now that we're full and we need the additional capacity. Dr. Eric Dixon runs the UMass Memorial Medical Center. I anticipate opening up the first week of December sooner if we have to. We have to close some areas and then move those people to the field hospital to be able to take care of uh, patients. And state officials say they're not taking any chances. That's why you're seeing those field hospitals. We're live in Andover. John Coco, 7 News, Today New England. Unbelievable. In the fight against this global pandemic, we truly believe that science will win. Within the walls of its Andover facility, drug maker Pfizer is forging ahead with the development of a vaccine against COVID-19, now in clinical trials. We're working on making as much vaccine as possible so that it's ready. Um, we hope to file as early as October for some kind of authorization. But while progress is made on one front, concern for another. We're currently looking at a lot of the clusters that have popped and to determine where and, and how those clusters happen. Governor Baker warning about COVID clusters seemingly born from private parties and events. In Chatham, a testing site was open after more than a dozen people tested positive following a house party. Local health officials say there were no masks and no social distancing. In Falmouth, eight town lifeguards tested positive after an off-duty party earlier this month. The bigger issue is not so much the nature of the size of some of these gatherings, especially the private uh, the ones that are going on in backyards and places like that. The bigger issue is, um, honestly, the behavior generally at those, which is not socially distanced, no masks. You know, every person you touch is every person that they've touched. The president of the Massachusetts Medical Society says when people do not follow guidelines, it risks rolling back reopening. Ultimately, Sarah, it's that uh, people seem to think that perhaps there's either magic to being outside and that if you're outside, you don't need a mask. And it's simply not true. Now, Governor Baker did not say whether we're at the point to roll back our reopening, but he did say what is happening here is similar to what is happening in Rhode Island. And there, that governor is tightening restrictions and slowing down their reopening process. Live in Andover, Sarah Conji, WCVB News Center 5. Fucking unbelievable bullshit. For real. Charlie Baker, the ex-CEO of Harvard Program Health, 